Hi everyone. So in the when I did the 2023 changes to the differentiation free pack, uh, I missed off this example, so I'm just doing this so it fits in rather than next year. So we covered it in class. So it says find and classify the coordinates for any stationary points. So I'm going to look at stationary. So dy by dx, which is 12x cubed minus 36x plus 24. I'm going to say stationary when dy by dx is 0. I'm going to write the equation out equal to 0. That way I know I'm accessing all the points on the math scheme. And then if I solve that in poly, as a cubic, so 12, 0, minus 36, 24, it gives out a single value, which is my target, is that two values, x equals minus 2, or x equals 1. So let's have a look where they are in the count on the, on the graph. So minus 2 is over here. Look at that, that's definitely a minimum point at minus 2. Well, let's have a look at 1. Because one's a bit different, it's not like a max or a min, is it? Because it doesn't look like a U shape, it doesn't look like an N shape. So let's have a look what we're saying about it now. So it says, find them. So we've got to do the coordinates, haven't we? So if I sub it in, uh, minus 2 gets me uh, minus 52 out. And if I sub in, 1 gets me 29 out. So I've got them. Right, so I've got my coordinates. So now I want to classify. So if you see classifying, you're thinking determine the nature. So I'm looking at d2y by dx squared. So I differentiate it again. So it's got to be careful then, because we're doing stuff about concave and convex as well while we're looking at the nature of it. So that's going to give me a 36x squared minus 36. So when x is minus 2, the value I get out is going to be a plus 36, I guess, isn't it? Uh, so when x is minus 2, oh, it's not because it's... Uh, hmm. it says. Is it 108? 36 times by 4, minus 36. Oh yeah, 36 times by 3. Yeah, I guess so. Should have been. Right then, so that there is greater than 0. So as d2y by dx squared is greater than, um, no, is it greater than 0? Therefore, where are we? Minus 2, minus 52. There's a, ma uh, there's a min. I'm getting all confused here. Stupid. So that's fine. I know that then. So let's have a look at x is 1 then. It was 1, wasn't it? I'm starting to doubt myself all over the show. But if I put 1 into d2y and I get squared, I get 0 out. So that's a bit of an issue here now. Because I've got d2y by dx squared is 0. So is this, is this a point of inflection? So remember to check it to see if it's a point of inflection. We need to check on either side of it. So if I try 0.9, that gives me a value of minus 6.84. And if I try 1.1, 1 .1, so I've chose values which are close to it, that gives me a d2y by dx squared value of 7.56. So if you look, that's less than zero, that's greater than zero. I've got a sign change. So it must be a point of inflection. But it's a bit special, this one. So this is like, a, it's a point of inflection and it's stationary. So this is Stationary point of inflection. But 
there, so it's a little bit more special. There. So I know that 1.1 is a well, 1 is a stationary point of inflection. So that's part A done, because it asked me to find and classify the stationary points. So I've got a stationary point which is a minimum, or a stationary point which is special, and it's a stationary point of inflection. Part B says, see if there's any more points of inflection. So remember, we want to put d2 y by dx squared equal to zero. So I've got 36 x squared minus 36 is equal to zero. So that'll give me, if I take the 36 over and divide through by 36, it gives me one for x squared, and so I've got plus or minus one. So I know that x is one, that's my stationary point of inflection. So let's look at x is minus 1 now. So I need values that wrap around x is minus 1. So if I go to the left, that's going to do. So I'm going to check this one. Check this one. So if I use x is minus 1.1, d2y by dx squared will be 7.56. That's really where it's at. That's what the completed pack says anyway. And if I try minus 0 0.9, that'll be minus 6.84. So if you look, that one's greater than zero, that one's less than zero. I've got the sign change, so that one must be a point of inflection. So let's see. So sign change. Now, if I put uh, minus 1 in, I get minus 19 out. There's a point of inflection. There we go. All done. That's that bit done. Sorry, everyone. Bye-bye.